Hi there, it's Carl Irwin, the Common Magician, and I've got something interesting to show you. Uh, we're going to mix up a deck of cards here, really sloppy on the table, do a quick uh, table wash so we don't know where any uh, cards are at. All the cards changing position, completely fair. And uh, just to be absolutely certain, we'll give it a few more uh, hand shuffles. Really can shuffle this any way that we want to, just to be absolutely certain that uh, no cards are where we expect them to be. And then, of course, at the very end, uh, we'll give this a quick uh, cut. And then uh, what we need from this is a couple of just random selections, just a couple of random cards. We'll take a couple here right from the middle. And uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, create some information from these selections. So I've got here three of hearts, five of clubs. Um, let's say uh, 35 is our number. 35 is our number. And then we'll take the value here, five, and we'll put it with the suit over here, hearts. So that's the five of hearts. Let's see what we get. 35, five of hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. This is 35, and it is the five of hearts absolutely every time, every day, all day long. Okay, so just a couple uh, things here to talk about. This is a uh, re-upload of an idea and I just want to deal with the fact that the ideas here uh, of, of finding a card at a number uh, uh, from a shuffled deck, verifiably shuffled deck, and of course the methods used and employed to do that kind of thing, uh, and also deriving information from uh, cards randomly found in the deck, um, such as a value and a suit to create a composite, uh, and also um, uh, to... Uh, come up with a number or a location. None of these things are new. None of these things are new. I actually have something published from 2021, I believe it was. I put out an, uh, an Any Card at Any Number book. ACAN, it's been on Penguin for a while. Uh, and it, um, and actually, actually, the uh, trick first showed up way before that on this channel on a comprehensive study of Any Card at Any Number where I did exactly that. Uh, in front of the spectators, we derived from random numbers a, a composite value uh, in suit and then a location. I've already published that particular kind of concept. Uh, so, so that's not new at all. And it wasn't new to me then. Actually, we've been discussing Animan. Uh, the ideas that I use to get there come out of the Animan text that we've been talking about. Uh, it's it's long long existing. I put up a cover of a um, a routine uh, by a well known magician. You all know who it is, and I'm not going to get into that. But someone, an associate, perhaps an associate of that magician who had a handle on Instagram of a, another a somewhat well known uh, magician, not quite as well known, but wrote me the nastiest reply when I posted that last uh, routine. Um, the gist of it was, so you saw a famous magician uh, and you copied his trick and you performed it badly, is what he said. He said, I performed it badly. Uh, and gave up the method, gave up the secret. Um, why don't you come up with your own ideas? I mean, I thought I came up with my own ideas pretty frequently here. Um, but anyway, I'm not a big name, well-known magician, but I'm also not a jerk. I'm not a jerk, you know. And uh, if, if there's anything I can say for the common... By the way, there's more of the common magicians than there are of the big names out there. Um, and uh, one thing I'll say is don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. If, 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 one, if one thing I can say for the common magician, being the common magician ought to be uh, to not be a jerk, right? Uh, now, I am a musician. Uh, that is what I do. And uh, I have run into a lot of very big name musicians, musicians who are far bigger names than any magician could ever be. Um, 
And uh, what I find from most magic musicians is uh, they're, they're not, there are some jerks out there, but there's not very many. Uh, and and I, I think of one person, uh, uh, if you know the name John Williams, right? He's a national treasure. He's a, he's a, he's a world treasure. Uh, he's written the score of our lives, uh, musical score of our lives for the last several generations. Um, and uh, he's now into his 90s. Um, there's a, a, a fun clip online there of uh, some kids at his um, residence uh, playing uh, some themes from his movies. It was like Star Wars or it was uh, Indiana Jones or something like that. And he comes out the front door and he stands there and he smiles and he watches them and he says, very good. And these are, you know, the, the performance wasn't very good. It was it was just, you know, ad you know adequately you know, they played the tunes, right? He didn't say, you're destroying my music and, you know, I can't believe you'd come here and play it badly. You know, it's like, uh, my performance wasn't bad. I darn well know it, okay? And I know that uh, the uh, uh, methods that I use were my own methods and I don't, I don't know if they are what the original was or not. What I was using, though, was uh, a, spe a specific routine that involved a gimmick. Won't show the face because that would be bad. Um, and uh, in doing so, the argument can be made that I was copying the routine. So knowing that this is this is potentially true, in spite of this incredibly inaccurate and absurdly jerkish uh, reply that I got on that Instagram post uh, from that person, I reached out to the magician in question uh, who's whose uh, idea I was portraying. And I said, I said, uh, I got this nasty message. And I said, I just want to know if this is a problem for you, I'd be happy to take this down. It's not my, it's not my interest to make anybody upset or anything. And he very kindly replied back. He said, he said, it is, it is an unpublished routine. Um, I would prefer if you took it down. And, and, and I said, no problem immediately. And I took it down. And I, uh, for YouTube, I made it private, and I probably will remove it now, but I did uh, make it private immediately. So some of you who had that link, you're still able to see it. Others, it shouldn't be showing on the page anymore. Um, it's, it's this one thing in question, though, that must be the routine, because all the other components of it are not original at all. Not at all. Not in terms of the methods I use, and certainly not in terms of the concept, right? Uh, as I said, I already had an I already had an any card at number that essentially is the same concept. Um, they're the cards are located off of a shuffle deck, um, you know, not necessarily from a spread, but off of a shuffle deck. It's just this thing. It's this thing that seems to be the issue. So whatever. Um, I will say this though. Um, to to the creator, to the original person. Um, if you post something with the persona that you're using and it's and, and, and the statements are paraphrased, here is a self-working card trick that you can try at home. Give this a shot. You should expect that a bunch of people are going to give it a shot. I mean, be careful what you ask for, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, but there was no harm intended, and I, I can't imagine that any should should be perceived. But if there is, I removed it. That's fine. There's mine. Whatever. Okay? So, um, yeah. R routines can't be copyrighted, obviously. They just aren't. Methods can't be copyrighted. We've been over this before. But we do have a... Uh, a courtesy code uh, that if a magician has a routine that is unique to them and there's something about it that is unique uh, certainly and they wish not to have it performed and they ask then we listen and I I abide so anyway there you go a little lesson for you me and everyone else good luck with that happy magic game